So it's welcome back to a new episode of Fresh and the Flea. I'm on my way to the thrift. Oh yeah, so I made it. You know what that means before we get in, I gotta remind everybody out there, if you guys are enjoying the videos, you wanna make more, please do hit that like button as well as that. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already hit that notification bell. And one important thing, I want you guys to comment down below anything that comes to mind. Hit it up, let's go. This is what they got over there for $12.99 bootleg of Louis Vuitton coin purse. Look at this, they like damaged it so bad. <laughs> security is security though, right? This is what we're working with the hats. You got the bougie hat by Adidas. It's not really Adidas, but it is in Pink Dolphin. And I wanted to check this one out. See the socks hat right there. When you excel in pork, it means that you go ham. I have no idea what's going on. They have like all these small sizes, nine and a half. Had to bring attention to the X67s again. They're still here for $13. Polo sport. The polo that we don't want to sport. So I didn't even see these. Check out this Tommy girl, like full, like Sherpa lined. And then you got the uh, flags on the back. I think it's crazy, man. Tommy time, man. It's always Tommy time. I found the Pirelli uh, racing backpack for five bucks. Uh, it's got carbon fiber all over this thing. Let's check the comps just to be sure. The eighty-eight dollars right now, brand new. So this one's a nice older piece from the Country Bear Jamboree from Disneyland. If you guys remember the show, a lot of people don't even remember it anymore because they took it out so long ago. But he is missing his vest and his hat, but that's a very cool collectible for four bucks. I don't know if I'm gonna pick it up. I'll see, oh, I already see it right here. Look, do you see what I'm seeing already? You see this, 2009? What is that tag? Burberry for three bucks. You see the Nova check? That's come up. <laughs> I'll take them with me. Oh, yeah. Gotta tell you, I got the pick of the litter when I picked up mine for like $6. Now I got $13 over here. Oh, there's a, oh, Final Fantasy 9 over here. So crazy. These are multiple discs. So tempted to film the rest of this with this camera. Huh? Should I film the rest with this camera? Dude, look at this. This thing works still. What the heck? That is crazy. From Sears, man. And think about it. Sears is going out of business. Someone's film is in there. That's crazy. 13 bucks. Dude. Look at this. Into that dope sport, huh? The Bushi crew. The gear marble. Brand new with tags, no patches at all. Nothing. Got that huge bigger. Dude, 10 bucks, they'll tax them. So we do got a little collections of the polo sport in the sweater section, the jacket, so the polo sport size, small, $15 for just this embroidered fleece, I'm not into it at all. Then you got this one, which is weird because it does say polo jeans um, company, Ralph Lauren, $13, but it's got a polo sport Arctic challenge patch on there. Hmm, and the stitching looks completely messed up, and this is like a literally, like a thin little patch. Uh, 
I don't really know. Got the uh, polo jeans logo right there, the RL flag. It's kind of weird. And then this one just takes the cake. This one maybe, God, it's like so hard because do I want to pay $25 for this? Size large and then check it out. It is the uh, polo script right there. It's kind of crazy. I don't know. Man, they are really taxing on this one. I don't know what to do. Hmm. What to do, what to do, gotta think. You don't even have to tell me, man. I already see this, look. Oh yeah, what is this one? That Polo Sport Yama stuff right there for five bucks. I'm into it. I'm definitely into this. Oh man. It's a nice little come up. Love these. Look at the messed up Gucci sadness over here. Oh my gosh. Do you think this is coming back at all? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. So yes, I'm taking off from there. Got my bag of goodies. So I only came out of there with the Jamboree Bear, the Burberry Bear, and the Polo Sport backpack. It's not too shabby, considering how long it was there. You know what that means. Next spot, let's go. So shoes are looking slim, but I did find these 993 New Balance made in USA. Ones for seven bucks. And then check it out, some fusions. I believe these are fake too. Either that or just horribly made. Look at that. We got these and the suede is still buttery. I'm into it. We got the pony on there. $14.99. Does have the strap though? Let's check the inside. I didn't even put a security tab in there. Just not worth it. Yeah, it's just clean though. I will give him that. So after going through the entire t-shirts, I found one shirt, Film Bank, which is part of the studios where you're not too far from Hollywood. Check out, you got the single stitch, probably 93, 94. I don't know if I'm gonna pick it up. It's a bigger size though. Cool little graphic. We'll see. Hitting up some vintage, vintage right here with the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers sleepwear. And I love the fact that it doesn't just have Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, it's got the Sabans logo right at the top. Oh, right there. 1994. That is so sick though. Man, I stopped buying like bedspreads and stuff since that Versace one. Because it's so big. And this one's like pulling me towards it, man. The putty foot soldiers. Uh, and they want like 13 bucks too, so I'm gonna have to leave that one. It's so yummy though. So the New Balance is all I picked up from the spot. What do you guys think about the chunky revolution of shoes? I mean, the ugly shoe, the dad shoe. Drop a comment down below, I do wanna know. The funny is, interests do keep changing by the minute, by the month, it's crazy. On to that note, next thrift, let's go. So straight into the new spot, you get the Tommy Hilfiger like coin purse, mm, it's $2.99, and then check out this one, the Bootleg Chanel bag. You can see it was quilted, and then you can see there was a, what is it? A metal logo here and someone ripped it off. <laughs> I was looking for it, man. I get the early jerseys 90s tag single stitch and it's mercy andre crouch he was a gospel singer love the colors on this one sadly he passed away in like 2015 so this one's really cool
So check it out the size small. Look at that top swoosh right there. But it's got this. But let's see how much it is. Depending on how much it is. Okay, I'll take a chance on this and I'll try to remove this. Because these are just too yummy. Little Travis Scott swoosh in the mix over here. So mix got it. I'll try it out. If you look how lit this is, a Minecraft menorah. Found it, it doesn't work. Never seen this one before. Summer 16, my gosh. So bootleg. Look at this material. Look at the tag. Fancy cube. <laughs> Dope concept though. Check it out, bringing back memories right here. I'm sure it was in better condition. Piece falling off though. Look what I just came up on, in like a weird section right there. These are off white replacement laces. Do you see in there? Shoelaces. That's so funny, man. They're charging crazy on this. $8.98. They knew something. <laughs> Who's gonna want them? Hmm? Alright, the homie Sean hit me up at the spot. <laughs> <laughs> right there, shout out. So, uh, right there. After one right after oh yeah. yeah. Alright, cool. Go follow him. End up taking off. So it's really awesome meeting people who watch the channel. A little reminder, if you guys see me at the thrift store or see me wherever, say what's up. Keeps me going. Then on to the recap, I did pick up the New Balance 993s, made in USA. I mean, pretty clean on the inside compared to what I've ever found. And these were $6.99. It's such a steal considering how much these go for. If you guys are going to want it, it's going to be up on Depop. And it is a US men's nine and a half. Hit it up. On to the collectibles, I did pick up the vintage Disneyland Bear Jamboree Big Out Plush. It is pretty cool that base, man. You cannot forget about this. His face now the bear jamboree was actually a show in disneyland that they do not have anymore this actually was removed and so it's great finding this piece i got so many compliments at the thrift i was nervous somebody was gonna scoop it I saw this thing in the pile and the face was just staring at me like this i knew already gotta say another one in the stash now to that i love coming up on these bears this is like the third or fourth time coming up on one check out that nova check under the hood you got the burberry tag right there the 2009 come alive the burberry fragrance bear i've even came up on a bear with the actual nova check coat on and this one's really cool the other two and the third one I actually found have already sold off if you guys are gonna want this burberry collectible it's gonna be up on depop link down below check it out the nike swoosh or the nike check and then you got this logo right here for U point soccer now i'm gonna try to take this off and see what i could do with it because these are just flying off the shelves so i had to pick it up five bucks now it's an awesome t-shirt i love the colors on this check it out it does say mercy it does say andre crouch now andre crouch was an american gospel singer yet he you know he brought it to the point he brought it to the limit and that's why i love the fact it has the conga right there with the uh, hands playing I love the fact that this is an early 90s piece considering he passed away in 2015. Other t-shirts that actually say Andre Crouch and Disciples go for around 20 bucks. So this one's a awesome single stitch piece and I got it for $1.99. Now last but not least, and it's going to be the cop of the day. Yes, it is that polo sport. Yummy stuff like I like to find and I don't find it too much. But when I do, I do pick it up. Just crazy, check out the inside tag right there. You got the Polo Sport, Ralph Lauren. The nice thing about it is that the poles actually are there. There's some cracks in it, I mean, what can you expect? So I actually have three of these in the collection, different colors, and the fourth one I ever had was this olive green, just awesome, and that went to round two. That immediately went to round two back in the day. So when I come up on these now, I just like hoard them. I love the Polo Sport bags, I actually use them, and it's so cool seeing the headphone jack. Gotta get the Polo Sport CD player. With that, I'm just gonna say thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, please do drop the like, drop a comment, and with that, I'm just gonna say what I always say. Hit that sub button because my videos are coming. This was Mick from Fresh from the Flea.